Hi guys, so this month I was at the BT Young Scientist and Technology Exhibition. It was absolutely amazing to be back and I try to get there nearly every single year to go around and have a look at the projects and just kind of soak up the atmosphere because it's amazing up there. Um, but this year I was working with RTE, uh, especially with TubeTube and with them I was going around to projects and I was interviewing them. We were trying to just get like a feel of the competition and a feel of you know what it's all about, how they felt being up there, what their projects were about, just get them to explain it and just have a look at the amazing variety of projects that were at the Young Scientist and I found that extremely fun. Um, so yeah, to, this month I was presenting with RTE at the BT Young Scientist Technology Exhibition. But also this month, um, I was at the BET Show. And the BET Show is an educational technology show um, that is based in London. Well, the one I went to was in London. And there in London, I was invited to present, to make a speech, make a talk about um, my journey. <clears throat> so my journey from entering the Young Scientist in first year, second year, finally in third year, to the EU contest for Young Scientists, and then on to Google Science Fair, making my TEDx talk, and then becoming a UN Global Youth Leader for Generation Zero Hunger. So that was an amazing experience to share my thoughts, share my ideas, share my story with people, and I really used it as an opportunity to talk about climate change and food security. So I was there at the Bet Show on the main arena and it was an amazing experience to share my journey with people. Also at the Bet Show, I was also able or invited to speak on their future stage, so Bet Futures. It was a really, really cool stage. They had really like futuristic um, like floors and lights and it was, it was good fun. So on the Bet Future stage, I actually spoke about my up and coming app with a colleague of mine. And this app, it's all about food security. It's aimed at children from seven to 14 years old, little games to play, little educational games, just to make sure that learning about food security is fun for young children and they can actually get something from it and they can be engaged within the app and really learn more about the causes, the effects and what they can do to make sure that we live in a food secure world for the generations to come. So that was all for this month. Talk to you guys next month. Bye.